What's going on you guys? Thanks so much for coming to my first what sold video. Um, if you'd like to see what sold for me last week and also a big bolo at the end, please just stay tuned. Hi, my name's Destiny. I am a stay at home mom to three kids under four and I'm also a reseller. So I'm going to go over with you what sold uh, each day for me on um, po Poshmark, eBay, uh, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. I used to sell on Kitizen as well, but I wasn't having very much luck there, so I switched to these four main platforms. And I'm going to just go day by day and tell you what I sold. Sometimes it'll be by platform, sometimes it won't, just depending on how much time I had that day. So I'm also going to put screenshots right here so you all can see the item. So we're going to start with Monday, September 13th, and I have a notebook here, that's why I keep looking down. I sold a loft space dye skirt, it was a wool blend, a size large. I paid a dollar for it, I have written down, but I just can't remember where I picked it up right now. Um, it was listed for quite some time, and it sold via an offer sent by Posture VA for $20 with $4.99 shipping. If you haven't tried out Posture VA, I'll link it down below, it shared in my closet nine times a day. Um, I have about 900 active listings right now on Poshmark, and of the sales I had on Poshmark, over 90% of them were probably via Posture VA, so you can use my code RETRO to get 20% off your first month, and you can also do a free two-week trial without even putting in credit card information. It is a bot, so just keep that in mind. Um, the next thing that sold on Poshmark was this Old Navy button-down plaid shirt for men in a size medium. I picked this up at the bins for my husband, but he just didn't like it, so <laughs> I've had it listed for over two years now because I got it when my son was uh, just a little baby and he's over two now, so <laughs> I paid about a dollar for it and it sold the Posture VA offer for $14.99 with $4.99 shipping. So, oh, I forgot to tell you, on the loft skirt, I made a profit of $12.54 after fees and cost of goods. And um, on the Old Navy shirt, I made $8.59 after fees and cost of goods. So when I tell you how much I made, that's going to be after the fees and the cost of goods and if there was any shipping paid. Uh, the next thing to sell on Poshmark was some Express Mid-Rise Skinny Ankle Jeans. They were in a women's size 4, and my cost of goods was like $1.25. Um, I got them in a Thread Up Rescue box, the DIY denim. I do a lot of wholesale because I don't have enough time to go thrifting like I'd like to due to having so many dolls around. Um, and someone offered me $10 for these. Um, it was a little lower than I wanted, but they'd only been listed a few days. They weren't a super popular style, so I just went ahead and took the offer. So I made a profit of $5.80. Um, the next sell was on Mercari, and it was actually a pretty good sell. It was a pair of J. Crew black suede, uh, they called these the smoking slipper flats, I believe. You'll see it on the screen. Um, I had them on smart pricing, and someone uh, just bought them outright at $51. I picked these up at Plato's Closet a few uh, weeks ago, I think it was. They weren't listed very long, and then someone just bought them. They had them at Play-Dohs for $8, and um, I had a 20% off coupon, so I paid $6.40 for them. So on those, I made a profit of $37.72. On eBay, I sold a Zenergy by Chico's brown vest, um, as you can see here. It was like an activewear vest, and it was in a good size, like a size 16. It sold the next day, and um, someone offered me $28 plus shipping on that, which I was happy to accept. Um, I paid $4.99 for that at Goodwill, um, and I made a profit of $19.71. So that was everything that sold on Monday. So now we'll move on to Tuesday. Tuesday, I sold this Atmosphere um, Pink Bikini Bottoms. These came in a Jamar box. Someone offered me $9 for them. I just accepted that because I didn't expect anybody to buy them, but I just went in listing them. I had a dollar into those, so I made a profit of $5.05. Um, then next, on Tuesday, we had an eBay sale. It was a new with tags, Free People, Stay A While Maxi Dress. This was by Intimately Free People, and it was a really pretty dress. Um, it was only listed a day or maybe two days on there. Um, Jamar had put on their Instagram stories that they were had a surplus of Free People and asked 
if he was interested. So I messaged, I paid $10 per item, and I think I got 40 items. So this was one of those. So my cost of goods was $10.21 because I did pay for shipping. And um, it sold for $48 plus shipping, which I believe someone offered me or I sent out an offer to Watcher. I can't quite remember. Um, so my profit was $33.16 on that one. So pretty good. Uh, the next thing was a Facebook Marketplace sale, which these are few and far between. I do love Facebook's low fee, but I don't have a ton of luck on there. It seems like Torrid does really well, American Eagle, and then like shoes and stuff, but it's kind of really just shooting in the dark. Um, so this was an American Eagle gray waffle knit shirt. This came in a Jamar box, and they have branded boxes, so this was the American Eagle box. So everything was around $4.66 per item. Well, this sold for $13 plus shipping, so I made a, a profit of $7.38. Okay, next was on Poshmark. It was an Under Armour cropped spell out long sleeve, and this came in a Jamar box, shockingly. Um, this was the Athletic box. So this one was not one of my favorite boxes. Um, I got a lot of Under Armour, Nike, and Puma, just, you know, basics. And this sold... Um, I had about $5 per item, so some of them I would pick up for $5, some of them I wouldn't, but that's the gamble you take with wholesale. So I paid $5, it sold for the Posture VA offer of $16 with $4.99 shipping, and I made a profit of $5.34. Next was an eBay sale, um, it was this new tags Lauren Ralph Lauren um, a quilted barn coat in a size extra large and it took forever to sell like it was a really nice coat I don't know what the problem was probably if you can see my pictures were actually pretty terrible um, I was just learning to use my ring light so anyway um, it sold someone offered me $30 plus shipping and I didn't have enough shipping on there because I had listed this back when I started eBay so anyway I made a profit of $24.38 um, pretty much I was just glad to see it go. I had it listed for like $70, but $30 was fine with me, and it was taking up a lot of room in my closet. The next sale we had was the Gap Factory uh, wool skirt in like a camel color. I think it was a size 4. This came in a mystery box from, um, I don't know if you saw on Instagram like a year or so ago, there was like a big scandal with my thrift box. That's where the skirt came from. I was a person who actually got a box from her, and I got several that she didn't send out or anything like that but that's another story so anyway this came in that box the one I actually got it's been listed for well over a year it was not an exciting piece but um, somebody sent me an offer for ten dollars and I was just snatched that up because I was tired of looking at it and I'm tired of having it in my inventory so anyway I ended up making a profit of five dollars and five cents that seems to be the theme this week so next was a pair of American Eagle high-rise shorts and like a mint color. Again, terrible pictures. Um, these sold for the Posture VA offer of $16 of $4.99 shipping and so I made a profit of $6.35 on those. Next were these Hello Kitty uh, snow bibs like. They were bright pink and I actually just found the coat that went with them. I wish I found that before I tried to sell them. But So someone offered me $10 so I made uh, $7.05 on those. That was the end of Tuesday, so here's where Wednesday starts. On Poshmark, I had these seven, not seven for all mankind, but like just the the number seven spelled out and then the number. Um, these were skinny jeans and a nice plus size. Um, they were a size 18. And these came in the thread up denim box as well, and they were only listed a couple days. This brand is not one I would usually pick up, but in a plus size, it worked. And um, it sold for the Posture VA offer of $20 with discounted shipping. So I made $12.29 on those in just a day, so I was pretty happy with that. Next, I got these Chaco shoes, and they sold on eBay. I had never seen this type before. They were pretty interesting. And I got them at Goodwill, and I just averaged my cost of goods that day, and so it came out to $6.27. So I ended up making um, a profit of $18.05. They sold for $30 plus shipping on eBay. And somebody had sent me an offer for that. I I know a lot of people don't do this, but I have best offer turned on on all my listings on eBay plus shipping. I used to just do free shipping and I was having such a hard time on eBay with no offers and just free shipping. So I decided to switch best offer on and 
plus shipping and I've done so much better but I know everybody's business model is different so just do what works for you. Next I had another Facebook sale. These were some King um, like water shoes, the Newport. These were women's size 7 and they were blue. I probably could have got more for them but they did have some staining on the sides like somebody had been in some red clay mud and that was not coming off. I put them through the washing machine and I couldn't get it off. Anyway, we finally agreed on a price of $24 and these were the same day as the Chaco, so I paid $6.27 for them. And so I made a profit of $15.94 and she also had to pay the Facebook shipping which was $9 because these were heavy. They were over a pound. Next I had a sale on eBay, another free people item. This was the On My Mind top in a succulent that was the name of the color and an extra small. Some of the things I got from Jamar for the free people were samples so um, this was one of those. It's new with tags but it's still a sample. Um, I sent an offer for $32 plus shipping and someone accepted so I made a profit of $18.67 on that one. And next on eBay, oh this sale, I was so happy to see this go. It was this vintage Quacker Factory uh, like an ugly Christmas sweater but it just had snowflakes on it so I guess ugly winter sweater if you will. Uh, I had so much interest on this sweater. It was a size 1X so it just seemed like a lot of people were interested but nobody ever wanted to make an offer and I just kept sending offers and I was so tired of seeing it. I think it's been listed two years now. I think I bought it on Facebook in like one of those thrifting groups and I just got it in a bundle of things so someone finally sent me an offer of $20 plus shipping. I had $3 into it and it I made a profit of $13.45 so made a profit but not great. And the last thing to sell on Wednesday was on Poshmark. It was these um, New With Tags Joy Lab workout pants like a jogger. Um, I have three pairs of these because I got a Jamar box full of Target items and some of them were multiples and which was fine with me because I only paid a little uh, $2.45 per item. So these sold for the Posture VA offer of $19 and discounted shipping. So I made a profit of $10.29 on those. Okay, so on Thursday, um, it's kind of funny, I sold this uh, Victoria's Secret push-up t-shirt bra, which I think it was full coverage in a size 38C. I have had this bra for a year in my death pile. I don't know why I never listed it. It had a little bit of staining on the band, and so that just kept me from listing it. I listed it and I literally sold it the next day. I felt so dumb for just keeping it in my death pile for no reason. Someone sent me a $10 offer the next day. I paid a dollar for it at this local thrift store and so I made a profit of $6.05. And that was in my death pile for a long time for no good reasons. Just list your death pile. <laughs> the next thing to sell was also on Poshmark and it was this pair of Converse. Um, they were white and they are men's 9 or women's 11 and I had so many problems with these Converse on Facebook. I had a lady keep commenting, will you take $10, will you take $10 and I kept telling her no and she kept saying, will you, what will you take? So I said I'll take 15 plus shipping. These were white and they did have some staining on them but I was getting annoyed at her attitude. So then she asked me, she said she would do 15, I said okay. And she said, do you have any more in this size? And I went and looked in my pile of things that were unlisted and I had another pair. Sent her a photo. She said, can I bundle them? I made a price, made a bundle for her on Facebook. Never heard from the woman again. The next day, a lady messaged me, asked if she could buy that bundle. I said, sure. And she's like, well, I have to go to work and then I'm going to go to the bank. And I said, well, I made this bundle for someone else. And then she ghosted me and she's like, oh, people should not do that. Y'all, she ghosted me, okay? She never came back and bought that bundle again. And then they sold the next day on Poshmark, which I was so glad I just deleted all that off Facebook. I usually don't have a lot of Facebook drama, but that was that was on my last nerve. So they sold on Facebook for the Posture VA offer of 20 with discounted shipping, so I made $9.54 on those. And those came from my favorite Jamar box, which is... Um, it's a box with Keds, Converse, and Vans, and I always make a great profit on that box. It's only $70 for 20 pairs, and then um, there is shipping, but you can get discounts all the time. People have codes for Jamar and everything. I had, I only had $4 into that pair of shoes, so that, I would pick up basically Converse Vans. Some of them you do have to clean or you get stained, but you can still make money on them. Alright, the next thing to sell on Poshmark was this Jack by BB Dakota leather leather skirt. Um, 
this brand, I hear people talk about it, but I cannot move it for the life of me. So I was so glad this lady asked me for a measurement and I, I reluctantly went and measured this, sent it to her and she bought it. And it sold for the Posture VA offer of $16 with discounted shipping. So I made $7.34. And I got this in my thread up bulk box. All right, so then we're gonna move on to Friday. The first sale on Poshmark was this MM Lafleur. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I'm from a small town, so <laughs> I don't find these brands or have to say it often. Um, it was bl this black dress. It was I've always heard good things about this brand. Unfortunately, this one, the hem was coming in sewn at the bottom, so I did take less for it, and I didn't know the exact style name, which I know can help. So I think I had it listed. For or maybe $50, which was really reaching. And this lady um, got the Posture VA offer and countered back with 25, which I was glad to accept because she's gonna have to fix that hem. And it would probably be an easy fix if you know how to sew, but I don't, so <laughs> she'll be fine doing that. And I already got five stars on it, so no worries there. So we made a profit of $18, and that came also in the thread up bulk box. Next was the a pair of Vans high top sneakers. If you can see these pictures, it was kind of dark outside. I should have probably waited for better light. But these were beat up, like, real bad. And they had stains all over them. The soles were really nice, though. Like, I guess I shouldn't say beat up. They were just stained, like, super bad. And I tried to wash them. And I was going to just donate them, but I decided to just put them on Poshmark for $12. I didn't even cross-post them. For some reason, they got so much attention. Obviously, they had no laces in them. And somebody, like, they kept getting the Posture VA offer of $9 with discounted shipping. And somebody just came out and bought them at $12. Which means they paid for Poshmark shipping. So they paid, like, 20 bucks for just ugly vans, in my opinion. But you can see them in the photo. So I made a profit of $5.05 on those. Those were a pair that did come in that Jamar box. And that was the last sale for Friday. So now we're going to move on to Saturday. Uh, Saturday, first thing I woke up to a full price sale on Poshmark. I sold these Lucky Brand men's jeans. These were the Heritage Slim, and they're a size 32 by 32. I got these at Goodwill on the new rack. Like, you know, they just pulled out a couple racks. I found like five or six pairs of Lucky Brand jeans for men, and they're all this size, so probably just a guy donating all his jeans. I picked up two pairs, and I really wish I had picked up the rest because these both sold for full price the same day they were listed or next day. Um, so these sold for my full asking price of $35 and I had, uh, let's see, that's the day I bought the Keens and the Chacos. So I had $6.27 into them, made a profit of $21.73, which is pretty good for me for jeans. Next on Poshmark was a J. Crew lavender bubble skirt um, with like these rosettes on it in a size zero. I picked this up at Goodwill. I just really like selling J. Crew because it's so easy to look up the item number and you know you can find stock photos if you want to do that. And I just love selling J. Crew. It seems to be a pretty good seller for me. So I picked this up for uh, $3.99, which is how much skirts cost at my Goodwill. And someone offered me $15 and I made a profit of $8.01 on that. Sorry about that. If I look a little different, the baby started crying and I had to go take care of that. So I'm back now and we'll finish talking about the sales. So the next thing to sell on Saturday was a Madewell pink button front tank top. It was ribbed and it sold within 24 hours for um, the Posture VA offer of $19 with discounted shipping. And I made $8.01. I picked up a Jamar Madewell box, which I was really happy with, and I had a really good sale from that box already, so that'll be coming up in just a second. Next was this Ann Taylor navy floral dress. It was such a pretty dress. It was in a size zero petite, so I almost didn't list it because sometimes those sizes just take forever, but this dress had a lot of interest. It did take a while to sell, maybe six months or so, but Somebody sent me an offer for 25 which I thought was really reasonable. I think I had it listed for 40 because that's what comps were for this dress particularly, which I don't know a lot of people who pay that for Ann Taylor, but some pieces can do well. So I took the $25 offer, and I think this came in a Jamar career box, and I made $16.50 on that piece. The next sale um, we had was on eBay. This was interesting. I've never really heard of VPL, but this is like a bra panty set. 
Um, it was new with tags, but it had no internal tags, so I'm pretty sure it was a sample. I got it in a Jamar CPR reseller box, which I could not find comps on this exact bra. Um, they didn't even have underwear listed on the site. Um, I have a coupon on eBay, and so someone used the coupon, and I had a sale running, and they bought it for $30.96 for the sale. Uh, the sale. The set, um, I made a profit of $23.16 on that. I'm happy with that. They felt like they were linen or something. They felt very nice and lightweight. The next sale on eBay was this airy red tank top in, a, in an extra large. And it came in the Jamar uh, American Eagle box. You can get American Eagle or Aerie since it's like an offshoot. This top, uh, it was not in great condition. It had a lot of peeling, but I thought someone might want it because of the size. So someone used my coupon again, and they paid $8.21, $8.26 plus shipping. And I made a profit of $3.08 on that. So not great, but still making money. So I had a sale on Mercari. It was these little bitty Nike tennis shoes. Um, they were called a Nike Play and they were like a white and I put they were retro because they looked kind of like a 90s vibe to me. Somebody offered me $14 for them and I accepted that. They had a couple stains on them. Um, that was the day I picked up the Chacos and the jeans and things so I had $6.27. But anyway I made a profit of $5.62 on those and the next thing to sell was on Facebook Marketplace. It was these native um, little girls oh, snow boots that's the word I'm looking for they're really cute I got these at once upon a child I traded in my children's things and got some money and then I picked up some shoes so I had a cost of goods of three dollars into these after trade-in and a coupon and stuff um, I've heard Ginger Marvin uh, Kathy and Chris over there talk about native a lot I don't find it very much and I had never heard of the snow boots I knew they had water shoes so I wanted to try these out they had a lot of interest and they sold pretty quickly considering it's September. Um, we're not really into the thick of the boots yet. Um, they sold on Facebook Marketplace for $18 plus shipping. So I made a profit of $13.82 off those. Okay, that was everything for Saturday. So the last day we're going to talk about Sunday and then we're going to get into my bolo find. So Sunday, um, we had a pretty good day. First was a Madewell Navy Tomboy work shirt in a size small. Um, this sold the same day I listed it. Um, I went to church Sunday, and when I came home, it had already sold. So it sold for the Posture VA offer of $28 with discounted shipping. It came in that Jamar Madewell box, and I made a profit of $13.93. Next were these Children's Place boots that were my son's. Um, somebody sent me an offer for $4, which I almost countered because I'm only making $1.05, but they're my children's. I've had them listed for a really long time and you know I just accepted because I'm tired of looking at them and I was thinking about taking them to Once Upon a Child so this just saved me a step. So I made a dollar and five cents on that sale. Nothing exciting but sometimes the sale spurs more sales so what can you do? Next was another Poshmark sale. It was this new with tags nasty gal maxi dress. It was really beautiful. It did have some flaws on it though um, even though it was new with tags. I had a couple snags and some like I guess maybe on the rack it had some like dust and stuff on the bottom which I noted in the listing. Um, it sold for the VA offer of $28 with this kind of shipping so I made $16.44. I couldn't remember if I got this in a Jamar box or my thread up bulk buy so I just put I had $3.50 into it because that's generally around my cost of goods for the Jamar boxes. Next I had a Mercari sale which was this Momper Rock. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to say this. Momper Rob Momper Romper. And I thought it was one size because when I was looking it up, I couldn't find a size in this thing. And I listed it that way, and somebody else had one listed as one size, but I kept getting these messages like, no, these aren't one size. What size is this? So apparently this is a popular popular item. Um, but anyway, someone finally messaged me yesterday. She asked me if I would do 30 and free shipping because I didn't know the size. And I just said yes because it's been listed for a few months now. Um, and then after she purchased it, she kept asking me all these questions like, well, can't you find the tag? There has to be a size somewhere. And I told her that tag was missing. And she just kept asking all these questions. I'm like, do you just want to cancel? Because this just feels like it's going to be trouble. And she said, no, I'm really excited to get it. So fingers crossed. I shipped it out this morning. So we'll see how that goes. 
Um, next we had another Mercari sale and this is my exciting one. This beautiful Madewell maxi dress. I was so shocked when I looked up comps that were in like the hundred dollars range. Um, mostly from like sixty to a hundred dollars but none were listed in my size which was a ten. And um, I had someone, I had it listed for one twenty five on Poshmark. Got a offer of sixty five or a counter offer because she had gotten the Posh VA offer of a hundred with discounted shipping. Um, I debated on taking it, um, just making the quick, quick nickel, um, but I countered back with 85 and she told me, she was very polite, she just said she couldn't spend more than 65 and I told her that was no problem. So I had like 10 or 11 likers already in a day and I went ahead and dropped the price for closet clear out to $80 um, and they would get $3.99 shipping. I let it go for the six hours, no takers, so I relisted it on Poshmark. And then um, a lady messaged me on Mercari, and we agreed on 85. She's going to actually wear it to officiate her sister's wedding, so I thought that was pretty cool. And um, I made a profit on that of $67.70, so that is so awesome. I don't usually find uh, items I can get that much for. Um, next was on eBay. It was these Vans. These were men's size 12, just black. Um, they had some flaws, so when the guy counter offered me at 10, I just went ahead and took it. I'm not, I don't really like to let items sit around. I'll accept a lot of offers. I don't know, always accept low balls, but sometimes I do if I'm tired of seeing that item or it has some flaws and I think it's fair when I count in shipping because these are really heavy. They weighed, I think I had to buy a three pound label, but thankfully the guy only lived in Georgia, so I had charged $8 for shipping and it still cost right around that to ship them. So after shipping and my cost of goods, I made $3.71, and those came in the Vans box uh, from Jamar as well. And the last thing to sell for the week was a bundle on eBay, which was this uh, Old Navy dress. Uh, it was black with like fluted sleeves, and it had only been listed maybe a week. It was my sister's, and she didn't want it anymore, so she gave it to me to sell. I don't, I don't mind selling Old Navy. It usually sells pretty well for me, as long as it's a cute piece. Um, somebody had offered me $9.50 for it, and I accepted, and then they didn't pay. So, I usually wait 24 hours, and then I send out a payment reminder. So, I'd send out the payment reminder, and when I woke up, they had paid, but then they'd also added something else to it. So, maybe they were just shopping my sh my store or something. They also added this Ann Taylor blazer, um, which was in a 6 Petite, and it was a, a wool blend, and I've had that listed so long. So... I, like I said, I used to do the free shipping and the set price. So that had that pricing. And the dress had the different pricing. So they paid $5 for shipping for both, which obviously wasn't enough. Um, they used my coupon on the blazer. So they paid $24.05 for that with free shipping. And then the dress they paid $9.50 plus $5 shipping for. So after all of that nonsense, um, I made a profit of $21.45 on that bundle. And that jacket had come in a Jamar career box as well. So for the whole week, it was actually a really great week for me. I don't always have this many sales. I was really excited. I've really buckled down and tried to list 10 items a day to work through my death pile and then cross post those items the next day. I list everything to Poshmark and then I use list perfectly to cross post everything to my other three platforms. That's just the easiest way for me. I know it would be really great for me to list the list perfectly first, but I haven't gotten there yet. But if you want to try out list perfectly, you can. I can put my coupon code below for that. I really love list perfectly. But so for the whole week, I made a grand total of $489.17. And like I said, this is a great week for me. Um, I see people who make $800 to $1,000 in a week, and that's amazing. But I'm just not one of those people, so this was a great week for me. I make almost $500 staying at home with my kids and I love what I do. I love to resell, so really happy with that. And I'm gonna talk to you all now about my Bolo find. Last, last week, or maybe the week before, we were out and we decided to go to a new Goodwill. My sister and I went in shopping and my mom stayed in the car with my kids. She does that for me sometimes to give me a break. And so we went in and we were looking through the new rack that had just come out. I was really excited because I found a Lily Pulitzer dress which I don't find Lily very often. And then we also found a pair of Duluth Trading Company pants and I found a couple other good things and I came across something else. And it was this vest, um, if you can see. It's not really exciting looking, okay? 
Um, I pulled it out and it feels like wool basically and I really liked the look of the vest. It has like that vintage look. So if you can see, I get home, I've actually not really even thought about this vest because when I pulled it out my sister and I looked at it and it has a couple flaws and I'm like, I don't know if I should get this vest. I mean it's only like $4.99. So I said well I'll just take a chance on it. So I get home and I look at the label if you can see. Um, it says Brown's Beach Jacket. I look that up and I'll put some comps right here on the screen. Y'all these are listed for like $800, $700. I, I've never heard of this brand. It's apparently a very sought after vintage brand. Um, it was made in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And then I talked to a vintage expert on this. And she thinks mine's from the 60s. Um, there's two sold comps right now on eBay. One sold, one was listed for $649.99 as I'll show here. And then they took a best offer. And then an auction ended for $325. Um, she thinks mine is from the 60s, but there also is replicas now that a Japanese company got the rights to remake these. Um, they're still worth quite a bit for the replicas, but I'm pretty sure mine's authentic vintage, but unfortunately it only has the one tag. So she suggested I auction this. I haven't listed it yet. I'm so, I don't know what to do. You guys tell me what you would do for a vest that may be worth hundreds of dollars. Um, that I got on a fluke basically. If you ever see a Brown's Beach jacket vest or jacket, definitely pick it up. I'm thinking about auctioning it off. She suggested starting the auction at $19.99 and just seeing where it goes. But let me know what you would do since I've never really done an auction on an item that's sought after. I've done it on pieces I just want to get rid of. But anyway, thank you all so much for coming to my channel for my first video. I know this was probably really rough to get through and I appreciate you if you made it to the end. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, I would love that. I'm going to keep making a What Sold video every week. And I hope to get better at it. And then also I'm hoping to do some hauls and unboxings. So it would be really great if you all could come back. And I hope you have a great day and see you next time.